Hi, my name is Greg Rayburn from NetScout, and today we're going to talk about Snoopy NG, Snoopy Next Generation. Uh, this is a tool that was developed by SensePost, and it's a client server tool. It's kind of unique in that uh, we're, we're, we're talking about a, you know, loosely a hacking or a pen testing tool uh, using a server client, a client server platform. Uh, so you send out these these drones, these devices out there, Snoopy client, and it will communicate back to a, a central server. And this server can be anywhere, can be located anywhere. And it's uploading wireless data. So it could be clients, could be access points. It could be running a rogue access point, a malicious AP. And so again, it's just uploading all this data back to a central server where you can then correlate it. So I'm going to do a demo here, uh, and so uh, I'll be using three virtual machines, uh, and this is just the easier way. The reason why I'm using virtual machine is it's just easier to demonstrate. And so this first virtual machine is the, going to be the client. And so we went ahead and started it up, used one of the two wireless adapters to connect to a backhaul. So again, this is the connection out uh, to the Snoopy server. And then we'll have a, a second card, which will be put into monitor mode. And that will do all of the duties of wireless sniffing, as well as uh, running the rogue access point. Okay, on this second virtual machine, we're gonna go ahead and run the server platform. This is gonna be the Snoopy server platform. So by default, the Snoopy server will run a SQLite database. Um, and you can use, I guess, I think, I believe you could use Postgres as well. Um, but by default is SQLite. And it's a real simple command to run the Snoopy server. Um, also, you will need to create a drone user. So this prevents just anyone from connecting to your to your server, uh, server backend. So, you create a user, it gives you a key, and then you use that key when you start your, uh, start your client. Okay, went back to the, the Snoopy client, and we're gonna go ahead and start the command there. Now you can run multiple modules. So there's all these modules that you can run with Snoopy, and you can actually run them at the same time. So in this case, I'm actually running a Wi-Fi module to do all of the, uh, wireless sniffing duties. So this is gonna be capturing clients, capturing access points, SSIDs, et cetera. And then a second one to do the rogue AP, so create a malicious access point. Okay, in this case, it's all starting up and um, it's gonna to start to communicate back to the server. So it looks like we have a good uh, successful connection back to the uh, server. You can see the uh, server platform is uh, logging data. And the client here is showing that it's seeing APs, it's seeing clients, et cetera. So on my third, uh, my third virtual machine here, this will be basically the victim, the client. Um, and he's going to be the one that will be lured to connect to my malicious rogue access point. Um, by default, the Snoopy, when you utilize the rogue AP module, uh, it will use the SSID called free internet. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down here and look for an SSID called free internet. And we have, and my client has connected to it. Snoopy also uses uh, Karma, so you could uh, ultimately not worry too much about a client connecting to your rogue, ac rogue access point. Uh, with Karma, it will do it for you automatically. Okay, back to the client, we can see that we actually have a couple, uh, couple clients that actually uh, connected to my Snoopy instance, showing the DHCP lease. 
I'm going to go ahead and fire up uh, Maltigo, which is really the recommended uh, reporting tool, I guess you could say, uh, for viewing uh, Snoopy data. Uh, this is a, really a good uh, visualization tool to show all of the collected uh, Snoopy data that you get from your clients. Yes. Multio can run on Windows, it can run on uh, Apple OS X, uh, as well as uh, Linux. Okay, so once we once we load it up, um, you'll start to see uh, basically a tree structure start to develop, and so this is really uh, showing you the relationships between a location where your drone's at and clients as well as SSIDs. Okay, so as I'm as I am. Uh, going in, drilling in further on on this. This is all collected data from the from the Snoopy client. Um, I can see and build build these relationships much better. So I can see where clients are connecting to. Um, have they connected to my my rogue access point that I just created? Um, it has an SSL strip module. So if, do I have any cookies from clients that have connected to websites? Do I have any type of uh, credentials that I could log, IP address information? This is all stuff that gets logged back to the, the Snoopy server, and then you can visualize that uh, using Multigo. Okay, so we're going to bring up uh, Air Magda Enterprise here, and we just released a dynamic thread update signature for the Snoopy client. As you can see here, we've got information like the source uh, source MAC address, the IP address it was using, uh, what was the destination IP address, what was a port being used, as well as the SSID for the uh, for the backhaul. Thanks again for watching.